beautiful people. This is Allie with the Perception Trainers, author of the Perception Diet, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between your value and your purpose because they are two very different things. And the reason that I want to talk about this is because pretty much everyone that I talk to is getting these two things very confused and it is causing them a lot of pain in their life. And, of course, I have personal experience with getting these two things very, very confused and causing a lot of pain in my own life. So, um, yeah, the real reason that I want to talk about this is because I feel like when, when you can really make the distinction between your purpose and your value, you will take so much pressure off of yourself to find your purpose and live your purpose and even um, will be able to be more relaxed about what your purpose really is and you will be able to feel so much better about yourself all along your journey rather than needing to be at this pinnacle place before you can feel good about yourself. Okay, so that's some important stuff and that's why I really want to talk about it. So let's start with talking about your purpose. So your purpose, and I've made other videos about purpose. I believe like the very first video I ever made was how to align with your life purpose. And <clears throat> essentially the definition that I give about what your life purpose is, is it's that thing that lights you on fire. It's that thing that you love to do. It's the thing you would do to, like at any time, even if you weren't getting paid, and it's probably the thing you're kind of already doing all of the time, even though you're not getting paid to do it, or maybe you are getting paid at this point. But essentially it's that thing that makes you feel connected to yourself and it makes you feel connected to humanity, and it makes you feel like you're expressing yourself, and it just makes you feel awesome, okay? So it's, uh, again, it's kind of that thing that, you know, hours and hours pass by and you don't notice that they're passing. And and to live in your purpose is a really magical thing, right? It's, it's kind of all, what we're all searching for, because we know that when we're in alignment with our purpose, we feel good, and that's kind of the point of why it feels good, right? Because we, we are pleasure-seeking people, we are pleasure-seeking beings, and so it makes perfect logical sense that you can feel the most pleasure when you are most in alignment with your purpose because that's what helps guide you towards what you're here to be doing, right? And when you're serving your purpose, you're serving all of humanity, even if your purpose is like being a mother to one child, or even if your purpose is, you know, um, writing poetry or making paintings that only like five people are going to see. It doesn't really matter. You're serving all of us by living your purpose. And so the first thing that I want you to understand about purpose is that yes, it's the thing that makes you feel awesome. It's that thing that like lights you on fire. It's that thing that makes you feel connected to yourself, like I say. And the second thing I want to talk about with regards to purpose is that Purpose is not necessarily one big grand thing that you're going to do for the rest of your life, okay? So for instance, you could be someone who your purpose was, you know, to start this, to, to kind of work in this one field, and then your purpose became to have babies, and to be a mom that stayed at home and raised her children, and that then became your purpose. And then maybe when your babies are grown up or a little bit older, you want to return to work or you want to return to this other field or you want to go into something totally different and reinvent yourself and then that becomes your purpose. So purpose is not necessarily some static thing that you've got to figure out when you're like graduating high school and you're 18 and going into university and you want to like figure out what your purpose is. It's, it's just, I believe that, so this is kind of where it starts to tie into value. It's that when you can have a really kind of relaxed attitude towards your purpose and a, and, a, and a more kind of intuitive allowing yourself to just kind of feel your way through life, you're going to be kind of living your purpose all throughout life and, and like I say, there's kind of like the macro purpose where you're probably going to have a few things or at least one thing that's going to be like, bam, this is what I came here to do. Like I came here to be a speaker or I came here to be a baker or I came here to be an artist. And then there's all these little micro purposes that you're going to serve all throughout your your journey as well. Like sometimes it's going to be your purpose to just like take care of your sick mom 
or sometimes it's going to be your purpose to be making dinner or sometimes it's going to be your purpose to be going to school or sometimes it's going to be your purpose to be the secretary so it's to understand that like you've got you've probably got a macro purpose and you've got several little micro purposes and so long as you're kind of following what feels good in the moment you're on purpose you're on task and you don't really need to like I say come up with this whole big like I'm gonna be like the number one world's best-selling author if you love to write maybe you're just gonna write and maybe you're going to you know work part-time jobs serving other people's purpose and then write on the side and I'm just saying that like that is a perfectly acceptable and beautiful way to live and so and then this is kind of how it ties into value is that if you can understand that your value and your purpose do not intersect and do not intertwine and do not come from one another you are going to be free to live your micro purposes and you're going to be free to live the purpose in the moment and you're going to be free to just allow yourself to be where you are instead of like feeling like you need to barrel towards this huge thing off in the distance that's going to make you valuable because if you believe that your purpose is going to give you your value you will never feel valuable you will have either like you will struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and have these peak moments and be super disappointed in your peak moments or you'll feel good in that peak moment for like five seconds and then you'll be like okay on to the next thing like that wasn't it I thought that peak moment would be it and it wasn't and essentially what I'm saying is that if you're looking to find your value in your purpose if you're looking to say that I am only good enough when I'm living this grand life purpose of mine then you are constantly and forever never going to feel valuable and you're actually going to block yourself from fully living your life purpose and I know that sounds like what that sounds like a big mean trick on behalf of the universe but really it's not it makes a, again it kind of makes a lot of sense if you really think about it because if you are someone who fully understands that your value comes from who you are that your value is inherent that your value that if you laid on your bed and smoked cigarettes and yelled at people for the rest of your life and that's all you did like you never contributed a thing to society except for hate and smoke secondhand smoke you would still be completely and fully and co like in all ways deserving of love deserving of abundance deserving of, of joy and deserving of everything that you could ever want and that in no way can your value be touched or tainted by what you do or do not do okay and if you can understand that if you can really give yourself that first of all don't be afraid that if you believe that 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 means that you actually will become the person who just sits on your bed and smokes for the rest of your life because the thing is that you won't because it won't feel good it doesn't feel good to live a life off purpose it doesn't feel good but it doesn't make you more or less valuable to be living your purpose okay and so if you can detach your value from your purpose all of a sudden you're not so desperate for these peak moments anymore because you don't need that to make you feel valuable you don't need those experiences and that outside validation from the world to say that you are worthy of the love and the abundance and the joy and the happiness and the peace that you desire right you will be able to say hey I'm working the cash register at a health food store right now totally on purpose otherwise I would be somewhere else but I am just as valuable today as I will be when I'm the New York Times best-selling author or as I would be if I were the president or as I would be if I were whatever it is in your mind that you think is valuable because this is the crux of the matter right because then if because if you're not if you're living from this place of like I need to get to these peak moments before I'm valuable you're gonna miss the whole journey first thing you're gonna hate the whole journey second thing you're gonna waste a whole bunch of your time struggling and striving and doing a whole bunch of things that are out of alignment with you because you're working so hard to get to this place that you would probably naturally get to if you just followed your bliss um, and and it's gonna sabotage you it's gonna sabotage you in a huge way and I want you to understand this 
that, you know, like, I'm not even just saying this as a theory. Like, I used to be the type of person who truly believed that unless I was at this peak experience, I was worth nothing. And I worked so hard all the time to try to earn my value, to try to be this perfect, amazing, like, upstanding human being. And I was constantly struggling and constantly striving and constantly running into roadblocks. And life was just not giving me a break. Okay? And I just thought, like, like, what is, what is this? Why is life so hard? Like, why can't I just get what I want to get? Like, I know what my purpose is, and I know I'm here to, like, help all these people, and, like, why isn't the universe giving me these, this huge audience? Why isn't the universe giving me all of these clients? Why can't I just, like, do what I came here to do? And I learned that through those roadblocks, when I finally allowed myself to just, like, surrender and be like, fine, this is not happening, what if it never happens? Maybe it's never going to happen. I realized that it was like, holy crap, then I think that I'm worth nothing. And that was the turning point. So when I was like, okay, what if I start to believe that I'm actually valuable here with this one client? What if I start to believe that I'm actually as valuable even though like three people have bought my book? And, and it wouldn't matter if I had sold a million or if I sold three, I'm still the exact same amount of valuable. And I started to like actually believe that. I started to actually give myself permission to believe that I was valuable even though I was working like a part-time job behind a desk and whatever, you know, like totally not in alignment with my peak purpose that I thought that I needed to be at. And all of a sudden, everything in my life just started to rearrange itself for me so I could start to actually come closer to these peak experiences. But the thing is that because it didn't come before I realized that my value had nothing to do with my purpose, this means I am not dependent on those peak circumstances to feel good about myself. This means I am not dependent on my business doing really amazing. I'm not dependent on having a whole bunch of clients that are like being really successful with what I give them. I am not dependent upon the results of my living my purpose for me to feel good about myself and therefore my giving is a lot freer okay because I'm not tied in to how it goes I'm just giving from my heart because I want to and I I don't have any kind of attachment to how it looks or how people take it or whatever because again I know inside myself that I'm valuable and I'm worthy and I'm lovely and I'm perfect and I have everything that I need to be and that's a freedom okay then my giving and my purpose all of a sudden just lines up for me and then I s stopped being so strivy and so struggly and stop stuff stopped being so hard I just started to just do the things that felt good and lo and behold doing that gave me way more success than working hard ever did but I had to understand that my value was inherent before I could stop working hard and before I could stop resisting the flow of life and going with the flow and getting more in alignment with my purpose so take home message if you want to live your purpose, if you really want to live your macro and your micro purposes, and you want to enjoy the ride, and you want to be able to be in alignment all the way through without pushing and struggling and barreling forward and feeling like you're a failure unless you're having like this, unless you're winning an Oscar right now like every five minutes, you need to understand that your value is inherent and it has nothing to do with your purpose. That even if you don't ever live your purpose, you never come into alignment with your purpose, you are still valuable. And no matter what you're doing right here, right now, you are still valuable. You are incredibly valuable. You are just as valuable working the cash as you are when you're winning the Oscar. Nothing's different. And when you can understand that, your freedom to move through your purpose is going to be huger. Your ability to actually follow what's going to get you to where you need to be is going to be so much better and clearer. And it's going to be so much more enjoyable. Okay? And you're going to reach those peak moments and you'll be able to enjoy them. Right? Because they won't, they won't be the crux of you. They will just be awesome moments. And then when you're in the quiet moments, you're going to be able to enjoy those too. Because your value is inherent and it comes because you were born. Because you exist, you are valuable. You are worthy. You are worthy of feeling how you want to feel. You are worthy of having what you want to have. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of kindness. You are worthy of grace. And those things start from yourself. So start being kind to yourself. Start understanding that you are valuable now. And start treating yourself like you're valuable now. And then your purpose will just fall into place. Okay? So, purpose, value, two different things. They don't intersect. They don't intertwine. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I love hearing from you. Um, if you want to follow me, I'm on Facebook at Perception Trainers. I'm on Instagram at Urban Fruit Bat. And 
Um, I am designing a 33-day program that I'm going to that's going to include meal plans and yoga videos and mindful exercises and meditations and all that stuff. And so if you want to get on the list so that you can be a test group, because I'm going to run um, a test group for 33 people. So if you want to get on the list to be uh, part of the test group, I have included a link below. You can sign up for that. And, um, and then I'll start to send you emails in the next couple of weeks about that. So yeah, if you're interested in that, you can just sign up below. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.